Hey Travis. Hey Kiara. How's it going? Going all right. We are doing some sampling for mites. We're up here in uh, Midway, which is by Monaga. It's actually Frank's, Frank's yard here. Um, see our method, this is a little bit not ideal what I'm using here, but I like to, usually I like to have a, like a grain bag. And I've got my half measuring cup, got my sample, height sampling deal here with alcohol in it. Pull the frame from the center of the brood nest. We look it over, usually Kiara or I will look it over first, then the other person will look it over one more time just to make sure we don't miss the queen. Don't see the queen here. So then just give it a shake. Let the older bees kind of fly off a little bit. And just scoop up a half cup. Dump them in. This is where the grain bag works better. The shoot doesn't go back into the hive quite as easily. But they'll find their home. We've been seeing pretty low mite levels. We've been feeling pretty good about it. The occasional one that's a little higher than we like to see has happened, but most of them have just been consistently under 1%, usually maybe one, one or two mites per 300 bees. So in that half measuring cup, there's estimated, estimated to be 300 bees. That's what you figure on. So every three mites you see would be a 1% infestation. So you shake it around for a while, go back and forth. They usually do it for about a minute. Fifteen more seconds. back and forth. You know, in a hive like this, it's a good brood pattern, but that doesn't, it's not telling always of what your mite, mite levels are. They can kind of coexist this time of year. Then I usually do a couple dips I'm not sure if this step that I usually do is that necessary, but I just like to kind of rinse them off just in case there's some mites that are kind of hanging on the, the tray thing. And the mites are heavy, so they drop down to the bottom. Usually you can look up from the bottom and see what your deal is. Takes a second to come down. I see some stingers and I see, but actually there's no mites in the sample. And that hasn't been what we've been, oh, there's one. One just came, there's just a little red dot. We've been typically seeing one or two in a sample. And there's and other debris in there, like that's a stinger. That's a stinger and just some kind of stuff floating. It's kind of dirty. But that red dot, that is a mite there. So one. So that, for this time of the year, I think we can feel pretty okay with that because we don't have to go too much longer before we pull honey and do their late summer treatment. So you reuse this liquid because it's expensive. If you're doing lots of sampling, it's expensive to buy tons of alcohol. So there's a little, I see it more clearly now. If you can see it there. Little red, red guy right there. So yeah, we've been trying to do a few samples per yard. 
And that's been about what we've been seeing, one or two. So that's, you can feel okay with that. Have a good day.